All right, right there, this is where we're at today. Okay, back into ether. All right, we got ether, chapter eight. Eighteen. And it came to pass that they did, that they formed a secret combination, even as they of old, which combination is most abominable and wicked above all in the sight of God. For the Lord worketh not in secret combinations, neither doth he will that man should shed blood, but in all things hath forbidden it from the beginning of man. And now I, Moroni, did not write the manner of their oaths and combinations, for it hath been made known unto me that they are had among all people, and they are had among the Lamanites. And they have caused the destruction of the people of whom I am now speaking, and also the destruction of the people of Nephi. All right, so the thing that killed the Nephites on America was the secret combination. And it was the same secret combination the devil's always been doing. I mean, when he started off with Cain, and Cain, you know, he, he made a pact with the devil, and, and you know, he, he, anyway, master mayhem blah 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 so it's it's the secret combinations that and they're and they're secret societies that's what they do to, to get power so they won't tell on each other um in the book it talks about these gadiat and robbers and that's probably one of some of my favorite stories is is these gadiat and robbers were these murderers and they came up with their secret combination and oaths and, and signs so they could like you know sign language to people and let them know who they were and they infiltrated their governments and they destroyed their governments so they would let you know guilty people go free for a price you know as long as they got cut you know cut in um to the money and gold so eventually they got so far in there was only like a couple people left that weren't you know evil and they're just like looking at this evil that had taken over their their country and they couldn't do anything about it and these gadiat and robbers were evil well well you know eventually you know a lot of these secret societies get destroyed but then they'd come back because these people would search out their secret plans and how they did it but you know the devil's already ready to hand them over and i think that's one of the things about iniquity is when when you go into the iniquity you've got help it's right there because if you're not with god who you with and if you're with that evil it's coming to help you until it doesn't need you anymore and then you're done because you're not serving the purpose of destruction anyways whatever back over to to ether he's talking about how they got destroyed and i'm telling you they got destroyed because of the secret combinations which is the secret societies that they belong to like the ones that are running america right now it's why you see the pentagram in washington dc on the streets and why it's missing an arc it's it's a completely part of their one-eyed religion which basically they worship the evil one and i'm saying this because america has changed course we used to be a christian nation and and it definitely there was some people you know working in their evil combinations but it's not the way that it is anymore i don't trust either side <laughs> or any of those sides in washington i just i don't but as a native american i guess i'm really kind of mistrustful to my government we turned in all our guns and they uh they took care of us they did uh, we were destroyed there was a you know 120 million of us native americans anyways whenever i'm reading this book and i pray over it my heart is warmed by the holy spirit the holy ghost i'm telling you this book is a record of my people i'm not trying to argue that you need to be going to church and baptized and all well you probably should find a way to get baptized go dunk yourself go talk to god or something but that's not what i'm talking about this is a record of my people of how eventually their wickedness 
and believe me, my people were Lamanites, and we ran this land, and we were savage. But we were able to destroy these people because the Spirit of God left them, because they, and, and we hated them, but they had steered away from the Lord and, and gone after gain and precious things and murder to get gain. Um, fine twine linen, you know, they, they went into, you know, all of the wickedness. It's the same wickedness over and over again. So, I mean, if you got to look it up in the Bible, it's the same wickedness. There's not even like any new sins. It's all the same. We were doing really bad stuff. And um, we, were at, we were warring against each other until we finally killed them all off. And then I believe there's some other stuff that happened to us. But that's conjecture. Um, I guess I pray about it. But still, I'm just staying with these words right now. So... What I'm saying is, is we were warned in this book that America would fall because of secret societies. The secret societies and the oaths that they take, their warlock witchcraft stuff, their power hungry, mad magic, the stuff that they believe in, the stuff that they actually believe in is what destroys our freedom in America. And it's coming. It's coming our way. And the scary God, the almighty scary God is going to do something about it. I just wish I wasn't in the crosshairs. I mean, I live in America. It's like, here we go. I got like a front row seat. Or if this is how Lot felt. Like looking around like, you know, that's a Sodom and Gomorrah and that's a Sodom and Gomorrah and that's a Sodom and Gomorrah. That one's run by gambling spirits, and that city over there is run by, I don't know, angry spirits or something. But I'm just saying there's a, there's a highly regimented attack going on. And these secret combinations are out of hand. And they are running this stuff. They're running us right into the ground. And this isn't really a message of, of hope or anything like that. This is just a... Uh, just in, just some ideas I'm trying to convey. We were warned inside this book. And all those people are going to be like, Oh no, that book's not true. And not, you know, Okay, that's fine. You believe what you want to believe. Believe it. Most of the time I've ever heard anybody talk about this book. They run their mouth about the Book of Mormon. But they ain't never like read it and prayed over it. Never, not even once. 